This is my Creality CR10 that I've had for a couple of years now. This actually did the whole of version 3 e-bike and so many things besides it's it's just been an absolute bloody workhorse. For the last six months it's been sat in the spare room and done nothing. Uh, I dug it out because I need to um, start printing stuff and it needs a bloody good clean. Plus which I need to do something with the print head, the hot end, that thing there. Uh, because it's got a Bowden tube which is that one there which feeds the filament. When you, the drive is there when you push filament in there it compresses slightly this bends and everything and with things like retraction uh, it doesn't work very well you have to retract something like about 10mm just to stop it from oozing now my flash forge used to have a direct drive on it and it used to be fantastic because retraction if you do 1mm retraction it retracts 1mm this doesn't. So I've got this. This is bloody heavy. I don't know how it's going to perform. It's basically a direct drive for that. Although it wasn't for that, it was actually for an Ender 3 or something like that. Or an Ender, yeah, as you can see, it says Ender on it. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if I can make it fit. They're basically all the same. All the connections are the same. That's the same. Although I've actually got um, an alloy one of these. Is that alloy? No, it's plastic. I've got an alloy one of these, so I'm going to fit that as well, if I can. <sighs> I'll see if it works. You get all the tools in the box, and you get a piece of paper with it. The bed is basically like that, because it's got ABS, um, an ABS solution on it. Uh, which makes everything stick to it like shit to a blanket. Get some um, acetone, get a kitchen towel, put the, kitchen, put the f acid bollocks and shove it up your f ass. Uh, it wasn't very easy to get it working. Uh, obviously that comes off so everything, it's, it's quite easy to do on the bench sort of thing. Um, and then it only takes two minutes to fit it back on. The wire in itself, I had to, this is the cable which goes obviously into the back and the back I had to, there it is, I had to uh, wire it on the plug and also that's the heater element off an Ender's what's it thing printer which is a 24 volt and it don't work with that because that's 12 volt. The only thing I've got to do is I've got to print a spool holder because I've got that which ain't going anywhere, it's going to break before it comes off but I need a spool holder more appropriate for this that I can bolt on here so as you know um, obviously because it's top feed now and it used to be side feed don't try and fit an ender th enders or whatever it is, an ender hot end they don't bloody well work because they're the wrong voltage as I found out took me a long time well, I'm pleased to say it's made a massive difference. A massive difference. The retract now, it doesn't ooze. Uh, when you're heating it up, uh, doing the preheat, it used to go a big blob of bloody molten plastic would come out. Doesn't do that anymore. It's absolutely fantastic. I think that cost me 35 quid. It's for the end of three, but you can modify it. I've done my spool holder works perfectly. Now I don't know if there's actually an upgrade for the, the CR10, I couldn't find one anywhere apart from the, the Swiss one but the only trouble is the hot end, what they're called, those things that extrude, oh the extruder, <laughs> the extruder is expensive, I wanted a standard one and that's a standard one, so with the extruder nozzles and stuff you just buy the standard ones now the two things that you have to do is number one you've got to remember that the end of three is 24 volt these are 12 volt so you have to change the heater element for your old one and also that piece of plastic in the back which I don't know if I can show you that piece of black plastic there you have to cut that um, so as it all bolts together Apart from that, that's it. And obviously your wiring, you have to get that done. 
but you have to do that anyway when you change the, the, the heater element and everything. So it's highly recommended. And get yourself a decent fan here as well, because they make a lot of difference.